Does your family ever just drive you crazy? That's how my morning is going, so I wanted to take a moment and just share with you what things I do to try to turn the day around, and I really just wanted to share with you that things are not always going swimmingly over at my house. I try to share the best things that are going on in my life, but sometimes people just wake up cranky, or it's a four-day weekend, and that's a really long time for us to have the kids not in any activities, or, you know, things were just hard. So I wanted to share with you today a few things that I do to try to calm myself down and turn things around and get into a better mood because I know that you guys probably have your hard days too. You can probably hear it in the background, but one of the things I did to try to calm down is I turned on my sprinkler to water the brown spots in my lawn. And that is making me feel a lot better. Basically, there's like a whole category of things that sometimes make me feel better, and that is accomplishing small, doable tasks that I can sort of feel like something has been completed in my day. And sometimes I do things and they get undone immediately. And if you're a parent with small children, I'm sure you're familiar with that too. So I am currently running my Whirly Gig Sprinkler. I just put on lipstick, which makes me feel a lot better. I've come outside with the puppy and she is relaxing in the sun, which is wonderful. And a few other things that I'm gonna be doing today is um, A, I sent my kids with their daddy to Home Depot. So they're out of the house for a few minutes. I am gonna tackle a few areas of the toys and books that need to be organized. And then the last thing that I try to do, aside from you know pouring a cup of coffee or making a pitcher of lemonade or taking care of some seeds or some plants that need taking care of in the garden, is that I try to really count my blessings. I think at the end of the day, after I just kind of calm down and reset myself, counting my blessings, because I have so many of them, is my best way that I turn things around. And some of that has to do with you guys. So one of the things that I wanted to just share that I'm grateful for is my friends and family and new YouTube friends who are here joining me and watching these videos and supporting me. I'm so grateful to you. Sensible Living With Money Mom, you have been so kind to me and my channel in recent months and you've done some shout outs to me that's helped me grow and also to really give me feedback on what people are interested in watching. And so for that, I'm grateful. Sincere thanks and gratitude to you, Wendy, over at uh, The Frugal Minimalist. Wendy, you're just such an amazing mom and I really look up to you. I look up to you on your channel, but just as a person. And I really wanted to thank you for your kindness and your recent shout out to me. And then lastly, I wanted to shout out to Jan Saving Money in NYC and to Q Makes It Happen. Both of you guys are just so fun and so interesting and you're in different cities than I am and you're in different stages of life than I am. Um, But you all, all of you who I've just mentioned are amazing people who I've met through YouTube. Um, And that makes makes me super grateful just to connect with you and hear from you and be supported by you. And so thank you so, so much. The other thing that I'm really grateful for is that we're celebrating a 4th of July weekend that's been going super well. So while we're on day three of our weekend and it's a little bit tough, we just hosted the most magical 4th of July parade and breakfast and barbecue with friends. We're using our pool now because it's heated and it's beautiful. I'm getting my grass looking nice again because it's been really scorching hot here and it needs some attention. But the yard is looking beautiful. Neighbors were amazing and generous. The fire station EMTs showed up and led our parade, which was so magical. We had a veteran who led our parade with music and opening ceremony, and we even had a local politician come and said a few words and visited with his constituents. So it was really meaningful. We had about 60 people here to celebrate the 4th. We used my grandma's dishes. It was super fun. And so basically, When I'm having a tough day, it's really the best coping mechanism that I have is to just take a quiet moment and look back at what I have to be grateful for, which is a lot. I hope you guys are having a great long weekend. I hope your 4th of July was a good one. We are so fortunate and I can't let these things get in the way and make me forget that. I need to step back sometimes. So I just wanted to share that with you um, with the backdrop of my Whirly Gig Sprinkler. I hope you're doing well. I hope your garden is growing. I hope you have good times with family and friends this weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.